Push that door. Push it all the Not way. all the way up, just after screen. Oh yeah. Ooh. Y'all couldn't have thought. You couldn't have thought I was just gonna let y'all talk shit and wasn't gonna say nothing. Hold on. Let's get this. Just for y'all. Y'all made me do this. Let's get it. You share too. Mooney, Mooney. I got that Rams jersey on today. I got that Rams jersey on today. You think I'm finna let somebody play about this? You think I'm gonna let somebody play about this? Let's get this, man. What up, world? This your boy, Lil Mo Films. RM, JR. And this is The War of Words. Words. So you saying the question on the table is, is Jerry Riggs Jr. the best running back to come out of the city of Chattanooga? Alpha. Okay, this this what this is what happened. Let me give you the rundown. Let me give you the rundown. This is what happened. Okay. So I'm on uh I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook scrolling and I see uh my dude uh Mark G. My dude Mark G, he uh made a post and was like, who is, who's some of the greatest running backs to come through Chattanooga? Okay. You feel me? So uh I was on some shit like shit. Squeaky. It got to be in my in my opinion it was squeaky. Get yeah, squeaky real name. Or when Derek Stewart. Okay. When Derek Stewart or Jerry Riggs. You know what I'm saying? Them the first. That's it? They said the best. Who the best? That's it, though? No. Okay. That ain't it. But it's okay. a lot more. It's a whole lot more. Okay. But I'm saying two of the best that I saw. Two of the best that I saw. I'm talking about two different types of backs. Okay. Two different types of backs. Okay. You feel me? Two different types of backs. So just so happened. Uh, I'm up at Tyler for their last game before they redo the field. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I asked when Derek question. I mean, when Derek stored a couple of questions. Okay. You know? And he said what he said on the video that I posted. You feel me? He said what he said on the video. He said, man, a lot of y'all was getting 20. Play, play, play a little bit of it if you can. 20 and 30. 20 and 30. Uh, carries. 20 and 30 carries. I'm going to play it. They can hear it. They're going to be able to hear it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you talk to him. So the man said he didn't get nothing, and y'all finna hear him say it himself. He said, if I'd have got 20 to 30 carries a game, it would have been a different ball game. He said he had eight touches, if I'm clarifying correctly. Man, dude, we're getting six to eight touches 
a game. Six to eight touches a game. But every game he averaged over 100 yards, sometimes two. With in a touchdown. Touches. With eight touches. With eight touches. How many touchdowns? Never had one game with 20 touches. Not one. Not one. Not one game with 20 touches. And y'all can also put who y'all like in the comments. Put in the comments who is who is your best running back to ever come through Chattanooga. Put it in the comments. Because right now, squeaky. When Derek Stewart. You ain't seen nobody debating that, have you? Uh, Jerry Riggs Jr. I got my own, but I'm going to save it. <laughs> oh, you going to say it? You look at you. You always I, trying to. I got my own. And a lot of people say, well, he's still playing. But his name and his work speak for itself. Somebody said squeaky. Prince, McK Prince McKinney said squeaky the goat. Uh, uh, that go away. He said squeaky the goat. So we got one for squeaky. Somebody else get in them comments and tell me who y'all rocking with. And share this too. Because a lot of things fact in. Because one thing... You got to put the work in. You got to be on the field. What you did or where you went, that count too. I know a lot of people going to say, man, high, that count. Where you went after oh, there you go. After high school, that count. Here we go. The only thing is Squeaky didn't play the second half, really. They were blowing, team, blowing the team out. Real talk. Who said that? Prince McKinney. Yeah, real talk. We finna play what he said though. We finna play. What we he finna said. play exactly what Squeaky said. Cause I hit I hit some dudes up before I came on, and they were saying the same thing, saying Squeaky. So y'all check out what Squeaky said. There we go. Yeah. Y'all check him out. I'm going to let y'all see. You had to sacrifice to get that. Like, period. Because I tell you, when it was, I ran the ball, but when, when it was time for me to block, this man ran out there and said, sit him up, squeak. I got to block for my boy because he want to get in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody don't feel that. Like this, man. And my man freed me up many times because honestly, I scored damn near every time I touched the ball. Mm -hmm. It wasn't many times. You might need two or three. Yeah, yeah. I, I, listen, I ain't have the most receptions or the most yards, yeah. touchdowns. When you get this, I'm right here next I'm to my guy. block for your brother. And he hey, scored hey, touchdowns. Hey, nigga, do you block for your hey, brother? Hey, check this out. Do you block for your brother? His legs got heavy. I think he done ran about 60. <laughs> Cause I ain't never been the fastest, but I know how to get to the box. I cleaned them up. Yeah. I call a lot of, hey, me, I ain't gonna make it, baby. These hands, these hands get heavy. He come yeah. and clean that block up for me. I'm good. Yeah. But 
A lot of y'all, man, hey, y'all sleep on us because a lot of y'all forget that we were even was runner up to a team with a whole bunch of D1 signees and yeah. prospects. Yeah. And even yeah. though y'all grow, they even had guys on that and what that was out of school for two years. The year after that, they got bad. They something happened. Yeah, yeah. But y'all forget that. Mm -hmm. But I mean I'm a I'm a cat, man. There's a lot of cool guys, but a lot of y'all. <laughs> They got the ball down there 30 times a game. He talking about how cold you were. Yeah. What was you going to do with eight, yeah. ten? There you go. With a whole bunch of other guys who rightfully so deserve their care. Yeah. <laughs> when we were what, when we were seeing it, man, I couldn't deny Slick. Slick was nice, yeah. but he was a ninth grade. Yeah. But I ain't hate on him. Yeah. I blocked for him, dude. Mm -hmm. If I didn't do that, that's real. So, hey, I done seen a lot of, you know, I respect people, you know, ain't been no hate, but a lot of y'all be piped down a little bit by how cold y'all When you were in that ball 30 times a game, yeah. and there wasn't no other options but you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, so so all I was saying was when you make your choice, when you make your choice, that keep that in mind. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah, he got the ball how many times? Six to eight times. Okay. He was a team player. Take salute to him for that. This is my thing. We can't help. What your coach didn't see. Now, it ain't, it hold ain't. on, hold on. Let me say this. If I got the ball or if that man got the ball 20 to 30 times, it's because his coach felt that he was that dude and he needed the ball 20 to 30 times. Or it could be like Squeaky said, they ain't have nobody else. He was all they had. So let me what I'm it. saying is what you dealing with over here is Nigga, all the niggas just as good as this nigga. So it ain't fair to just get a ball to one nigga. Because he deserves it. He trying to get a scholarship and go to college. He trying to go to college. He trying to change his family life and go to college. So you got to spread the ball around. I, I don't knock that. But you know? Let me ask you this. But I guarantee you this. If that nigga, when Derek Stewart, had a guy motherfucking 20 to 30 carries a game, nigga. It will be some unbreakable records. Because I'm going to tell you why. If I was building a team, it would have to be one of these two players. If I was building an all-time team at, at, at running back, I would have to have either Wynn Derrick Stewart or Jerry Riggs. I personally, not just because I, I went to China and I played with the Rams, you know what I'm saying? But if I was creating a team, I would choose Squeaky when Derek Stewart only for the simple fact because he's a dual multi-purpose back. I'm talking about if you was on Madden, his his running is a 95, his blocking is a 95, his catching out the backfield is a 95. You see what I'm saying? You know, uh, you get more bang for your buck at the running back position when you got when Derek Stewart back there. Versus just having rigs. Now, sure enough, he good enough to wear. Hey, you know what we finna do, but you gonna have to stop it. Yeah, you gotta stop. You just gonna have to stop. You gotta it. stop. It. But coming up against a good team who can actually stop it, you ain't got no other option now. If they shut that down, then what you gonna do? With Win Derrick, if they stop in the run game, you can also bring him out the backfield to match up against linebackers. That he gonna be way faster than. And you know what I'm saying? He gonna make plays that way. He won the that's how we won the state championship. You do recognize that Jerry Reeves won the state as well. I do. You do recognize In the snow. Do you do recognize In the snow? He was able to catch the, the little short passes out the backfield as well. I do understand that. So but you who, can't you as, can't as just a, say he was one dimension. He was better, he was better. On that one dimension, though, I'm saying, but what he you think could, he could do other stuff. What I'm saying is, is he, is he, uh, is he even at catching the ball out the backfield the same as he even at running the ball? It's a yes or no question. I don't know, but he this could, is the war of words. But he could do it. 
You can't say. I can say this for. Well, I can say can this for when Derek. I can say this for Squeaky. He is equally just as good on the ninety-five percent level as you is coming out the backfield as getting the ball on the run. Okay, check this out. I'm glad that you. right there is why? why I would choose when Derek because what you sure just said. Him. Oh no, sure I know. Check this and out. Anybody else that knows? Check that. this out. This man said, Squeaky said himself, his legs would get what? Tired. So he might couldn't even, the coach might knew that and knew he couldn't have 20 to 30 carries. He said it. But guess what, though? Then he said it. But guess okay. what else he said since we going off what he said? Well, I mean, that's right what, after that. That's what fact is. Right after that, he said, but I still knew how to get to that box. This is the war of words. But I ain't even, my thing is, you can't, you said the best ever, right? A lot of people don't want to put them in the conversation. Let me, well, let, let's deal with these two right now. Where did Squeaky go to school at? After he left China? Because that matters. Well, he's supposed to. That to, uh, matters. Where he go? Where to he Georgia go? Bulldog. Where he go? But he had to go to, he went to Georgia military first. Why? <laughs> Why? This is the, the war of the words. You got to have them grades, man. You got to have them grades. Because Jerry Riggs went to Tennessee. Y'all see the picture. But see, that's what... He went to Tennessee, hand... But look, that's why you factor in. This, 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 and this was somebody... Because you're a student athlete. And this was somebody was saying... This was somebody was saying in the comments uh, on Facebook. They were saying, you got to factor in... This dude had his dad in his life. Like, this dude... Hey, you know what it is? It's a blessing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong. It's you, nigga, you supposed to have your dad in your life, and that's a result of having your dad in your life. You know what I'm saying? So you can't penalize him for that. I, I'm not penalizing him for it. So, so that's but what a I want to. But what I want to, what I want to talk about is this David Cockin nigga. This David Cock nigga. David Cock. This nigga get on there. Oh. That's why I don't even like to watch videos like this. But I just had to entertain this because uh, Gerald Riggs is the greatest. The greatest ever of all time. And blah, blah, blah. And they just going with the people that they know and the people that they Because uh, you do seem kind of biased because you went to Tina. You played the people that you they played like. with when Derek, did Guess what, though? Now, let me ask you, did you play with it? Yeah. So that's going to seem, it's going to look a little biased. Okay, guess what? Ain't biased. It's going to look a little biased. I, I ain't also, saying he ain't do his thing. Nigga, let me say it. I also, he be want me to say it because he know I'm finna get him. He be trying to avoid it. So look, I also know Gary Long and Kev, Kevin Bunner and all them. But when they ask me who the greatest basketball player to ever come through China, I'm going to always tell them Harris Walker. You feel me? Who? It, Harris Walker. He played at time? Played for Brainerd. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to give you your props where your props do it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to give you your props. Now, I'll, and I said Jerry Riggs. I said either win Derek Stewart or Jerry Riggs. This nigga come in here trying to make it seem like a nigga hating on Jerry Riggs or something. I didn't. I, I'm not. Nigga, you, how, how the hell I'm going to deny? How am I going to deny that Jerry Riggs is one of the motherfucking top running backs, if not the one running back? This nigga ran the thousand yards at Tennessee. You feel me? Who else done did that? You see what I'm saying? So you got to give him his props. But I'm just saying I would have loved to see what when Derek Stewart would have done at Georgia if he would have made it to Georgia and what he would have done with 20 or 30 carries a game. And I know we can't go to what if. Like David Cox said, if if was a fifth, he said his dad had taught him that. We'll all be drunk. You know what I'm saying? I heard that too, but. That's if you're drinking. At the end, of, there you go. And at <laughs> the end, of, this is yeah. the war of words. Everybody don't drink, man. <laughs> so, look. This is another thing. Go ahead. Nah, go, ahead go ahead. Go ahead. Because I'm going to throw something else go in. Go ahead. No, nah, go ahead. These are two backs, Newton, fairly new, one of them still in high school. Caleb Hampton and Boo Carter. Caleb Hampton, he going to uh, Stanford. Stanford. Yeah. And, and that's Patrick Hampton. That's his son. Patrick Hampton, we got to get you on the show, man. So we can argue about shit, nigga. Poonin' Mooney. 
And another thing. Don't be scared. Another thing, he got a state championship as well. He just won the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to, in my opinion, you got to have a state championship to be in the conversation. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you why you don't. You ain't that cold if you ain't get your team there, man. I'm going to tell you why you don't. It's a team sport. You that ain't that mean, cold. That don't mean you ain't do your job. No, you ain't that, that cold. That don't mean you didn't do your you job. You ain't that cold. Like you can't, like you pin the light. That ain't my fault that your team didn't do their job. <laughs> that ain't my fault. Just like you said, it ain't my fault you didn't get your grades. You can't pin it. They, hey, they, they just as at fault as they is with so, their grades. So let me ask you this. Do you, have you seen Boo Carter play? I heard about him. I ain't seen him play personally. I seen a highlight or two. Listen, he got one more year. Even if, I mean, I'm, what, I'm, what's his yards? The game different now, though. You can't. Oh, that. You can't that we, uh, we, it's like LeBron and Jordan. The game different now. You they, can't still, they still comparing. Yeah, but you know what I'm I saying? I mean, you you can't penalize somebody because they didn't play in that era. That right. ain't their fault. That what you talking about the game different? That, it's different. You can't help when you play. You can't. You do your thing when you play. That's we talking about the best to ever come out. If you don't get no championship though, you want you kind of oh think about it. Who was Riggs led by when they won? Who was Red Bank led by when they won this state? According to the people, Jerry Reed. He's the running back, right? Who scored the game winning touchdown for Tyler that year to win their state? From what I hear, squeaky. The running back. Yeah. You feel me? You ain't you got to be the running back gonna get you there, man. You got to have a strong run game to get to the championship. It ain't been done without no strong run game. Ain't nobody won no state championship who ain't got no run game. It ain't happened. I'm gonna say this. Boo Carter ain't got a state championship. But he he up there, he man, he, he making he, he making a case he, for he got, one of the best that year. ever come out. He got one more year. He making a bit case for the best one of the best that ever come out. In my opinion, you got to win to be the best. I mean, that's your opinion. Yeah. Then can who agree with me? Who you got to win to be the best? Well, you can we talking about a position? We ain't saying the best team. I we know, ain't but, saying but the usually, best running back on the best team. The, when you we the, ain't talking about the best running back to ever come out. I'm of saying season. usually when you the best at that position, your team will win. That's what I'm saying. We got we talking about the two greatest backs right now, and both of them won and led their team to win. How many y'all, how many yards Squeak can have this senior year? I can't. I don't. I don't want to say that because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I had to look it up. Was he all American? Was he all American? He come on now. You know how that shit go, bro. Oh, how it go? You know how that shit how go. go. Come on now. <laughs> no, we talking about the best that ever come out. Jerry you know, Rich. All Americans gonna be from five A schools, fool. They gonna be from big tier schools. So I don't I know one no big we was a two A school, bro. Two A, three A school. We were three A the year before, then we went down to two A. So but the thing is though, when 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 you go up against when a two A when you go up against a two A team in Nashville or Memphis, they two A schools are way bigger than our two A schools, but it's two A. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, we ain't never cry about it. We just win, baby. That's what we do. This is the thing. Go ask Riggs. We, we never played them during the regular season back in that time, but we scrimmaged them. And we gave them boys that work every time. We gave them so much work. I heard they come back the same year. They said, uh, nah, we ain't going to let them scrimmage in this game. He scrim It's a six-way scrimmage where the six teams come and they scrimmage against each other. But when they get to Tyler, he didn't participate in that part of the scrimmage because why you think? Why, what you trying to seem like you insinuating something? I'm insinuating when they already know. Uh, well, we don't want this nigga to get hurt, man. Uh, he can he can go against these teams over here, but uh, them Tiger boys, you feel me? We don't want to risk. We don't want to risk Watch getting you. them hurt. You know what I'm saying? So guess what? That was a smart move on his coach. Definitely. So I said what? So if I was his coach, I'm gonna. I ain't said hey, that. Hey, man, just sit over But that up. was 12th grade. We're talking about 9th, 10th, 11th grade. He played in the motherfuckers. You feel me? Did he do his thing? We dominated. That's did, all I'm going to say. Did he but do his listen, thing? Listen, it's a fucking scrimmage game, though, bro. So you can't really count that shit because it ain't. You no. brought it up. I know that's the only time we ever played against it. So if you can't count it, don't bring it up. Nah, you can't count it. <laughs> it happened, didn't it? 
So he played. Did, yeah. he, did he do his thing? I mean, I, I can uh, tell. You. He did it. I'm not. Wait. I'm saying he did his thing. I could tell he was going to be epic. I was like, man, dude going to be cold. Okay. So I stuck did. him though. He fumbled. I stuck him. He fumbled. You feel me? In the scrimmage. It's a scrimmage game. Now, I don't want to bring it up. Because, nigga, oh, this nigga talking about a scrimmage game. He got the Nigga, don't know about it. We talking about the real game. But I'm saying, though, he was solid. This nigga, this so nigga you was talking solid. about practice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the war of words. <laughs> we talking about the game. And you talking about practice. I'm talking about practice, nigga. Practice. Practice. So, I mean, you got to look at it like this. That do factor in. Winning do factor in to the best they ever do. But. You still got to consider Barry Sanders didn't win no Super Bowl, but he's still amongst the best to ever do it. But who got the record? Emmy, Emmy Schmidt. So you tell he me. He won the Super Bowl. So you tell That's me. That's all I'm saying. Let me ask this you. This proving my point. No. This proving my point. I'm going to say something. Barry Sanders and Emmy Smith, both great backs, right? So you saying, you saying I that Emmy. Was a better back. He brought it up. I'm asking you, are you saying Emmett was a better back than Barry Sanders? Shit, he won three Super Bowls. This is why I'm going to disagree with you. And I'm a cat. I like the Cowboys. That was my team. I'm going to say got, this. He got three Super Bowls. This is going to go he back. He had a Sports Illustrated where he did a spin move, nigga. And man, what nigga fall This is going to go back to his argument with the eight carries. Check this out. If give Barry Sanders the line. The image Smith had. I'll wait. We'll never know. Like you just said here. We'll never know. Because right. that ain't, we can't go off of that. We got to go off of facts. So he, so did, you it. Talking about he fantasy. did it. Look. So you talking about fantasy. I, we can bring it back down to the fact. talking about fantasy. He did it about. with a less capable offensive line. That's what we saying about squeaking. So, what based on doing? that fact, Barry Sanders. If you pick a bear with eight cares, Barry Sanders <laughs> or Emmy Smith, eight cares. I'm gonna take Barry Sanders. But you ain't gonna take when Derek Stewart. I ain't never seen him play. I can't take nobody. That I ain't never seen play. I ain't never well, seen I him seen play. both of them play. Okay, so I, I ain't seen, seen both him play. play. You ain't seen B Boo Carter play. That why. That why I shut up about it. You going like you know what the fuck going on? Boo Carter, that dude. That's why. Listen, you think he better than Jerry Reed? From what I seen, from what I seen, <laughs> he tried to die. in high school, no. In high school, yes. But why they ain't pumping him up like how they were pumping? Nigga, Joe huh? was coming through this motherfucker like the hippo nigga on You said why they ain't what? Joe Riggs was coming through this bitch like the hippo on Madagascar, nigga. You feel me? Watch this. They had this nigga Watch on. They had Jerry Riggs it's on. Over. Look it's out over. mountain, nigga. It's over. They had Jerry Riggs on. Look out Watch mountain it. with a Superman cape on, nigga. I swear to God. And they got Boo Carter. If I'm lying. And they got Boo Carter getting NIL deals. <laughs> NIL. Yes, sir. He got an NIL deal and he's still in high school. I'll wait. <laughs> Woo, this is the war of words. Hey. That's that man. Easy. That man. Hey, look, it's he was the era. first player. It's a different era. First player in the state, not just the city, in the state of Tennessee to get an NIL deal. Prove me wrong. Explain to them what's an the NIL deal. Name, image, and likeness. Again, name, image, and likeness. So he's getting paid for his name, image, and likeness. You got to be a bad boy to do that. You got to. It's a different era. Jerry Riggs, definitely. That nigga be signed with Gatorade if he could have did it when he was in high school, nigga. You know Look, that, nigga. he's he, still, still in high school. school. You hating him. I ain't hating him. I'm just stating the fact. From what I seen, I was all around back. I'm going to take Boo Carr. He catching it at the From, backfield. What? He catching it at the backfield. Boom. And house time. House time. And he can play receiver. And he's a DB. Mm. Multi-purpose. Athlete. Jerry Riggs came out <laughs> as a running back. Boo Carter's finna come out as an athlete. He said he got recruited by 50 schools to play linebacker as well. But he wasn't recruited as an athlete. Mm. Athlete. You can get mad all you want to. We talking facts. But he got one more year. Mm. Boo Carter got one more year. But yo, Davey, you know what I'm saying? Davey, cocky, you need to... Uh, 
pipe down a little bit. I see you a big nigga too. You know what I'm saying? I like big niggas. You know what I'm saying? I like big niggas. And nigga, man, you can put the pads on, nigga. They can put us in the fat man squeeze, nigga. And I bet I got them get through. You know what I'm saying? Let's man? make sure you got this man's name right. Let's do some David. It was dude, David. David Cochran is who you talking David about. David Cochran. Yeah. Yeah, you a big nigga too. I like I like him big. I like him big, Davy. According to Patrick Hampton, he went with uh, he went with Jerry Reed. Man, Patrick Hampton ain't <laughs> never played no football hey, in his damn life. He ain't had to play his son. Play. His son going to Stafford. That's epic though, right there. To he play football and baseball. What position he playing baseball? Thank you. I'm not sure of the position, though. But he's going for both sports. Dual sport athlete. Mm. That, that's, that's a whole different beast. Yeah, that's epic right there. And check this out. You talking about winning? But, but, but what's Hold up. You talking about winning? He ain't the first one from Baylor to do that, though. To go to a major school and a dual, dual sport yeah. athlete? Yeah. Willie Idolet. He ran track and he played football. Okay. For Wake Forest. Salute to him. That's cold. This is the war of oh, words. This nigga can't let me ask you this. I got the facts. Let me ask you this. Did, yeah. he, did he win the state in both? In both. Willie didn't win the state, bro. In both? In track and in football. Willie, they <laughs> did win the uh, SEC. They won the uh, SEC title in the... In the uh, we talking about in high school. Willie in the long jump, I think. And how, we ain't talking about what you think. See, you look talking, about, look you talking about what you think. Look we up. talking about. Yes, Willie got trophies. He got uh, he got first, he got one in track in. <laughs> he got trophies or do he got the state? Did he, he win, win the Wake state Forest championship? Wake Forest won some shit at. We ain't talking about that Wake Forest. We talking about in high school. He won the school. state championship in high school. Full Baylor did. In football and in track. Yes. Okay. Nigga, I'm trying to tell you, fool. Cause Caleb won in baseball and football. Willie won in nigga uh, long the long jump and he won he won the state in the I think long jump and you think see you keep talking no, about no he think. won the state for sure I'm just trying to okay he won but you the keep state. saying you think it was a big newspaper writer fool I remember he won the state in football okay Baylor won in football and in track Willie I let they he won. It was either the long jump or like the 400 or some shit. So you don't know. Or the 200. Know. He won two things in track, fool. State, okay. Tight, okay. state. Okay. Yeah, state, fool. Salute to Willie Allen. He always trying to hate on somebody. Well, I just want you to have your facts straight, man. But yeah, y'all get in the comments, man. Who y'all think, man? Y'all think it's uh, Jerry Riggs? And do your research on uh, Wynn Derrick Stewart. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be on the lookout. We got some... I don't even want to spill the beans, but we got some epic shit coming. And if you ain't seen when Derek Stewart, you're going to see him. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see. And uh, we're going to show y'all the real. You know what I'm saying? Because it comes across, though, I got to say this. Comes across, since you got this on, comes across like you being biased. I ain't do that with Brandon and Harris Walker. So you can't you can't say that. We ain't talking about Brandon and Harris Walker. I'm giving it, I'm giving it a I'm giving it a time. I'm not even saying. I'm saying when Derek Stewart. And Jerry Riggs. Them my top two. They can't get mad at me for picking my top two. Who your top two? You said Boo Carter. Boo Carter. Nigga, one. he ain't even done yet. Nigga gonna be like, that's how, how cold you gonna, he, how that's you how, gonna pick him? Cause he that cold. He could break his leg next year. Uh, knock on wood. You know Check it out. LeBron James ain't done yet. And you they still talking about him. We talking about high school. LeBron yo. James. We talking about still active players. We talking players. about pro, man. We talking about still actively you don't playing. You do that till you go pro. We talking about, you can't change the rules. Ain't you, no change in no rules. And we talking about still actively playing. Some people think LeBron is the best of all, greatest of all time. I disagree. I got to go with Jordan. I disagree. But look, we're going to say that for another day because we'll be arguing another 30 minutes. Absolutely. And I got an interview to do. I'm finna link in with my dog, Jay Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. You feel me? He dropping some new shit. He just dropped some shit called barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Because it's finna be time to pull them barbecue grills out. So he jumping ahead of the curve. And uh, y'all be, that's on the chilling circuit. You feel me? Right now, this is the war of words. You feel me? But y'all, make sure y'all go tap in with the D-Program show. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, man, this your boy Lil Mo Films. R M J R. And this is the, the War of Words. We gone.
Peace. Boom.